Hey buddy, Chief Meteorologist Brad Petovich. Happy Sunday evening. Boy, those were a good line of storms today, but that was just a precursor to what's heading our way tomorrow, setting the stage for potentially a much bigger severe weather outbreak. Let's take a look at what's happening right now. Good news tonight, everything's out of here. We're getting rid of all the rain. Probably some fog's gonna form overnight. Uh, just a heads up if you're up early tomorrow morning. It's a foggy, really soupy overnight period. But what we're going to be watching over the next 24 hours is going to be the next line of storms, which is back to the northwest. You see that big cluster of storms and that swirl over the Midwest? That's what's going to be heading our way tomorrow. And ahead of it, we're going to see a lot of heat and humidity. The, all the ingredients are coming together tomorrow to be a pretty potent day. And part of those ingredients are the heat and humidity. We actually have a heat advisory in effect tomorrow because the heat indices will jump above 105. So that means air temperatures in the mid-90s, dew points in the mid-70s. That is like high-octane fuel for thunderstorms. Now, you have that in place. At the same time, you've got the disturbance coming in from the Midwest. It really is almost an ideal setup for severe weather. So when you look at the severe weather outlook tomorrow, kind of a rare higher end risk for August. Typically in the summer, we see pulse storms. We might get a low to medium risk at the worst. But to see this higher risk uh, set up here is kind of unique for the summertime around here. And the main threat is going to be, obviously, damaging straight line winds. And I'll kind of show you those percentages here. The severe weather risk, we break it down by category here. And I'll kind of move my head out of the way briefly here. So I'll move my head right there. Um, if you look at these maps carefully, you can see the tornado map over, over there that way. Um, that's low. That's like a 2% probability. Hail, about a 10, maybe 15%. But you see all that red right above my head over here? Um, the winds, that is a significant, that's 30%. So that's pretty high for the summer. So that's a pretty big risk for severe weather around here. And so that's why tomorrow could be a pretty significant severe weather day. Here's a look at the map view of that same thing. You actually see up in the DC area, a 45% probability. Now that means the chance of seeing damaging winds within 25 miles of any point on the map. But look at all the red. I mean, that's 30% chance of severe winds. So when you look at the, the setup for tomorrow, it's a day we certainly want you to be weather aware because after five o'clock for the Piedmont, a little bit earlier, I'll show you the mountains, but wind, wind, wind is the big issue. Small hail and small tornado risk. Many more people will be impacted by the winds tomorrow than just about anything else. So let's take a look at the timing of all this. Um, I like showing this maps because it really kind of shows everything about kind of general time frame. Three to 5 p.m. is what I'm thinking for the mountains and the adjacent foothills. Then in the Unifor region, Northwest Piedmont, most of the Piedmont, five to seven, and then the Sand Hills, PD, Eastern, Central North Carolina in that seven to 9 p.m. time frame. So that's kind of what I'm thinking tomorrow, but I want you to stay weather aware because things could fluctuate um, tomorrow with the timing. I'll show you what our future cast shows and coming up tonight at 11, I should have an updated look at this to kind of show you the timing, but this is as of right now, based on everything tomorrow. So I'm gonna stop this in the morning and what you don't see on this map is, Obviously, it's going to be super warm and muggy. We're going to have a bunch of heat and humidity building up here into the Carolinas, and that's kind of fueling these storms. So we go into the middle of the day. Look, it's still, the storms aren't even here. It's 2 o'clock, and we're just seeing some storms bubble up in the mountains. 3 o'clock, you start to see them affect the mountains. That's why it's 3 to 5 for this area. So watch those storms unfold there through 4 o'clock. 5 o'clock, they start to enter the Piedmont. So 5 to 7, you can see them marching across the area. Pretty potent line there across the Piedmont between five and seven. And then after eight o'clock, they start shifting off to the east. So again, it's a day we want you to stay weather aware tomorrow, certainly potentially some really strong storms moving in. I'll recap it right there, kind of showing you where they are at 5 p.m. So have a plan tomorrow in case there are watches and warnings issued. You need to stay indoors as those storms approach. And before the storms get here, be careful with the heat. We've got a heat advisory and a high risk for severe storms in the same day. That should tell you that it is going to be a wild Monday here in the Carolinas. Stay safe, everybody, and stay tuned for updates. I will post a complete blog uh, coming up tomorrow morning.